This card is in response to the challenge on my Facebook group to All Crows Mixed Media. Each week we spin the wheel and come up with three items that we use to create a project. And this week's spin netted a magazine, paper weaving, and cheesecloth. My name is Peg, and I call my channel Two Old Crows Mix Media. I hope you will take a moment and subscribe. And, of course, the notification bell does let you know when I upload additional content. So let's get started utilizing these three items. The magazine pages, I'm going to choose according to color. And I have chosen this page. It has some turquoises and yellows, and I think that will make a nice little embellishment on the card and I am looking through for additional color in this little turquoise necklace. I can use the turquoise in that card right here. So let's see if we can find one more thing that uh, will create some embellishment for us. And what I plan on doing is rolling these embellishments and I want to choose the color I want to appear when I roll that paper or that magazine paper. So this looks interesting, but I think I'm going to go with this dark uh, reddish color right here. So I'm going to set those aside for right now. And I am looking for something to weave within the wording and I've chosen just to use the typeface for the background of my card and I am now looking for something that I think will appropriately or contrast when I weave. And this sorghum ad I think is creates that nice caramely, I'm going to use those caramely tones. So I'm going to choose, I've, I've cut a bunch of cards in the APC side. These aren't exactly APCs, but this is what I have chosen to complete my challenge on every week because these challenges occur every Friday. So I am trying to generate something that is consistent in size and that I can store. I have an idea for storing these. I haven't implemented yet, but when I do, I'll share it with you. It's in my head, hasn't made it out as yet. So I'm just cutting, cutting this down. And now I'm putting the slits in. So I'm marking my knife or my cutting tool at one inch here and just pulling down. I have a little pink mark on my ruler here that I'm just going to that pink mark. So I'm setting two areas and I am cutting one half inch apart. So I'm going to go with just three. I'm not going to make this a huge paper weaving project, but I'm going to get those slits put in. I'm wanting to keep them nice and straight. So you can see now that I have that completed, now I'm just going to create one half inch strips of magazine paper that I can weave through that other, other um, cut piece of paper that we've set aside. So I'm just trying to get the appropriate color here. And there we go. I want that uh, caramely color is what I'm looking for. So now that I have my strips cut, I'm going to weave it through. I'm going to go over, under, over, under. And now I'm going to start just the opposite and go under, over, under, over. And now I'll just snug those up together and we'll stick one more in and we'll start at the opposite. So we're going to go over this time, under, over, and under. And there is our paper weaving. So to secure that into place, I'm going to grab my glitter glue. And I'm just going to pull up the pieces that are on the outside, stick a little glue on the underside, 
and adhere those down. I'll do that on both sides. This one was the over little glue. And now let's flip that over and do the same thing on the back. And this just keeps everything in place. And now let's put a little glue over the entire back and we will load that piece of uh, watercolor paper that I cut down to that two and a half by three inch size. I got that a little off center, so we're going to start over. Gonna lightly tear that, give it a little bit more glue, and we'll lay that down maybe from this side this time and get it positioned properly. And now just trimming around the outside edge. There, we have our base. And that is the both the magazine page and the paper weaving. But now we're going to make our embellishments out of the magazine as well. So I am determining what length I want my little roll and just cutting this page appropriately. And I want that to end up as a turquoise roll. So I am cutting along the edge of that turquoise pendant that is pictured. And I have a skewer. That it's just a kitchen skewer for shish kebabs. And I will roll that. And when I get towards the end, I'm going to lay a little glue down. And continue to roll and then slide that off my stick. And there is my first little embellishment. So now I'm going to cut this piece of paper so we get that uh, turquoisey and yellow pattern. Now determine the width that we want or the length that we want that second embellishment. And let's just tear that to that width. I think I'll just cut up the side here. And let's get that rolled. And once again, we'll hit it with a little glue. Secure that down and pull it off the skewer. And that gives us our second little embellishment. I had some little fuzzies that I wanted to trim off there. So there we have two. And now let's get some of this red color. Let's get a red one done. Easier to just cut, get it to the appropriate width, and lop that off so that red is the final thing you see when we roll this together. And we'll roll it once again. And of course, we're going to lay our glue down to secure it. and pull that off the skewer. And now we have our three, our three little embellishments. And I'm going to cut this one in half. I think I want that to be the smallest. So there we go. So now to determine how we want those to appear, just kind of looking at some different options. But I'm thinking that they're going to look much better if they are laying on a piece of tea stain paper. So let's just give them an opportunity to be showcased. I thought first a little journaling spot on the side, but but as you know, I decided to go this way. And 
And I think that looks much better. Kind of showcases our three little embellishments. Still, you can see the paper weaving. So let's trim this up. I'm going to want to put uh, round the corners, but let's put the back on first. I have written on a piece of paper exactly what we're doing here. It's that challenge with the three items. So let's let's just get that adhered to the back. And then I'm going to take a quarter inch corner trim on each of these corners. Just trim off any excess and hit it with that crocodile around each of the corners. And I'm doing that on the quarter inch setting. And there we go. And now let's ink around the outside edge with some vintage photo. Get that a little distressed look. And I also want to ink around this little piece of tea stained paper that I'm using to showcase our three little embellishments. And we'll get that adhered. But I'm, I'm thinking that I want to add in some of that turquoisey color as well. I think it would just look better with a, with a little bit of that turquoisey color in the background. So I'm going to pull in this Robin Eggs Blue stamp pad and just lightly touch it around the outside edge and a little bit on the top, just kind of a shadowy effect on the paper weaving or on that text. And now around the outside edge lightly of that tea stained strip. Glue that down. And now to put the cheesecloth in, I'm just going to take a little strip and put that right in the center. And then we will glue our three little rolled embellishments on top of that. And I want to glue those together as well as to the card. Let's get the final one glued down. And there we go. Now I'll let that dry and then we'll fray that cheesecloth, but I want to add a little copper liquid pearl around the outside edge of that tea stained paper to just kind of showcase those little rolls. Take a pen and clear that lid. And there we go. Just up and down, dotting with the liquid pearls. And I'm going to dot on top of the embellishments too. And I'm going in odd numbers. So I'm going five, three, and one. And that we shall let dry and then we'll come back and fray that piece cloth once that has dried. I just want to pull those threads out and distress that cheesecloth a bit. And I think we will call that complete. So that completes a project. We used all three things that showed up in the spin. We did the paper weaving, which is your background. We rolled the paper, which were your embellishments, and we added the cheesecloth.
So thank you for watching. I have put a link to the playlist for the rest of the weekly challenges if you would like to see those and some other things that you might find on my channel that you like. Thank you for being here. Thank you for subscribing. And I do always appreciate your comments. Bye for now.